Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be doing an updated tutorial on how to make my hover mechanic. So I have a tutorial about how to do this from a few months ago, but it's pretty low quality and I figured I'd do an updated version because a lot of people seem to be having troubles building it. So I'm going to quickly show like what you can do with it. So you can build multiple different things that kind of just hover in place and move around. Uh, you can disable, you can go down, you can turn it off. And you can adapt this to fit many different builds, like this thing, which um, has hover mode, like this. And then you can just turn it off and go into normal flight. So if you had some sort of spaceship, what you could do is you could go into hover mode, and then you could start going, and then you can turn it off and fly like normal. Now, of course, we're not in space, so this thing flies weirdly, but you get the idea. And then you can re-engage it, and then kind of lower yourself down. And it's very, very easy to control, and pretty intuitive. And then, I have one more example, just to show kind of like how advanced you can get with it. So, um, we turn this on. Oops. There we go. So we can turn this on, and then kind of just stays where you want up and then you can switch it into normal mode so now that i've showed you some examples i'm going to get into the tutorial and show you guys how to do this enjoy all right everybody so i have the basic blocks laid out right here this is the whole mechanism so now i'm going to show you how to put it together and kind of how to wire it up so you're going to want to go and find your logic blocks and you're going to want to get a distance sensor so I'm just gonna bring this out a little bit and then you're gonna want two or logic gates oops uh, two or logic gates and then you're just gonna set them here um, you don't have to line it up you can make this fit your build however you want I'm only doing this to make it simpler to see and then you're gonna want a and logic gate right here and then you're gonna want an XOR gate which goes right here and then lastly you're gonna need a speed sensor now it's very important that the speed sensor has the little like opening facing down like this if it doesn't it will not work so make sure that is facing down at all times so let's find the speed sensor there we go now we're gonna face that down and now we're gonna get to linking this up so first things first we're gonna go into this distance sensor and we're gonna connect it to this XOR logic gate right here and then we're gonna click invert trigger and set that to zero meters. Now this will provide a constant output that will feed into the XOR gate. Now, if we head over to this XOR gate, click on it, we're gonna connect it to this AND logic gate right here, just like this. Now we're gonna, now we're gonna click on this OR logic gate right here and we're gonna set this to two and then toggle and we're gonna connect it to this gate right here. Now, moving on to this OR gate right here, we're going to click on it, and we're going to set this to whatever button you want to press to go down. And then we're going to click toggle if you want, or you can leave it untoggled, it's up to you. And then we're going to connect it to this XOR gate at the very end. Now, we're going to go to the speed sensor right here, and we're going to connect it right to this AND logic gate. And then we're going to set the speed exactly to 0 kilometers per hour, or miles per hour, it doesn't matter, just set this number to 0. And then you are good. This is the whole circuit completely done. So now you're free to conform this to whatever build you want. Now I'm going to do a quick speed build and just kind of make a little platform. And then I'll show you how to link it to thrusters so you can actually hover. Alright guys, so I completed our little vehicle, um, I didn't really put any effort into making it look good, but that's irrelevant. So what we're going to do is we're, you're going to want to find your AND gate wherever you left that. So mine's right here. Um, so just find your AND gate and then you want to hook it up to all your thrusters that are meant to push you up into the air, like that. Um, and now that you have those hooked up, you're good, you can click continue. And now I would set all these to space. Um, or, if you want, you can set them to any button. Just remember, that's the button you want to click if you want to go up. So I'm going to set this to Q just so it's next to E. 
um, just personal preference. And now I'm also going to add some thrusters in the back so we can actually, you know, uh, go forward. Because I forgot to do that initially. And then the last thing we need to do, because I actually forgot to do this, we need our gyroscopes. And I'm just going to kind of slap these where they fit. So even though it doesn't look good, they fit there. And we need one more, so I'm going to probably put it back here so now uh, maybe we'll put a second one just so it has symmetry i'm going to click on all the gyroscopes and i'm going to adjust the strength of this build and i'm going to set it to off by default and then i'm going to put the toggle to the same button that i used to turn on the system so for me it was two um so i'm going to set them to two uh you don't have to do this it's just so that way when you engage the hovering system it engages the gyroscopes at the same time but again you don't have to so now we're pretty much done if we exit the builder we can test our build by clicking two so we click two and then we hold our up button and as you can see we float perfectly in uh, in place so we can go back down and i forgot to bind these thrusters to w um, oops, so we're just gonna set that to W. And then I noticed that this is not powerful enough. Is um, It's kind of moving a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna move these back. You might have to do this. You might have to adjust your thrust. That's why I'm showing this. I'm gonna keep this in instead of editing it out. So you can adjust your thrust like this. And this will give it better balance since these are kind of towards the center. So now if we turn this on, we can go up. And you can see that's still not good, but there's a very easy solution. All we gotta do is turn these stabilizers up. So you might have to do this, not a big deal. You turn them up, and you can also turn these down a little bit. Um, that way they're not kind of pushing up on the front end. And now, it is perfect. It hovers in, in uh, spot pretty well, and you can see you can kind of steer it around. You might have to put another gyro to help steer, but right now, because the build's so small, you can just steer with seat controls. So that is how you make a basic little hovercraft. And then, of course, you can put some weapons on this, and at any time, you can turn off hover mode, and then you're good. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.